Hello VAC fans, welcome back to another video. Um, today we're going to be doing um, something that's not about Dyson's for a change. Um, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to be using something uh, a little bit more conventional to do the vacuuming today and uh, it's going to be the Sibo Felix and um, I'm going to be using it to do the downstairs and we're going to be using it to do the stairs and we're going to use it to do the sofas with the mini turbo brush on and we'll be going in the back with it as well because uh, unlike the X series this one is able to do onto uh, my lino floors because it's got adjustable power and you can also turn the brush roll off uh, which is one of the advantages of the Felix over the X4 which I also have that's upstairs so um, what I've decided to do is to um, get rid of uh, the Dysons upstairs for a while and uh, we're going to be having uh, some more bagged machines downstairs for a change because I've had Dysons down here now, well obviously the uh, the handhelds are still here, the, the hand sticks they're actually fixed to the wall all the time so they're always down here just for quick whip rounds but um, as far as I'm concerned now I, um, I want to be using my uh, other machines from my collection again so um, this month, uh, and then th probably through the middle of next month as well, I shall be using the Sibo Felix here, uh, which I bought uh, several years ago now, but it's not really had much use. So I thought, well, it's about time it did, because these are actually quite a good machine. Um, it's the one that came before the pre-EU ban, but it's actually not... Um, it's not that bad on energy use. And when I uh, turn it on, I'll plug it into the, um, the energy use meter down there. Um, when you have it on its lowest power setting here, it only draws about 350 to 400 watts from the uh, suction motor. So you can go around and do your dusting uh, in the low setting, and it's only about 300 to 400 watts. When it's on maximum, obviously you've got the floor head going down there, which is uh, 175 watts, plus uh, the motor here. So I think it comes to just about uh, just over 1,000 watts when, when it's all going together. But... Um, Today's versions, I think they're a little bit less than that, they're obviously under the 900 watt, the, the Felix Eco, but um, they can't be that much less powerful than this. So what I'm going to do as well is to have um, the Kirby downstairs as well. This has been down here for about a week now, and I, uh, I actually shampooed the carpets again last week. I didn't film it because uh, it's not very interesting with carpet shampoo, so I've already done a video on using that before. And to be quite frank, I haven't um, really noticed that much difference in the carpet either. Even doing a thorough uh, shampooing, with um, I must have got through about uh, nine tanks of solution uh, doing this carpet. And uh, as you can see, the marks are still here. Um, you know, this, this carpet now has been down to, for 12 years and it's had big mess tests thrown on it. It's had all kinds of uh, abuse over the years and unfortunately now it's beginning to look um, a little bit uh, dirty, shall we say. Well, it isn't dirty because when I did the machine the solution came out pretty clear out of the wastewater tank. Unfortunately, it's just one of those things about having a beige carpet and having pets and me walking and in a, straight in from the street. You know, I've got no hallway or anything. I'm in straight in onto the carpet here. So it's, it's not been that wonderful. So I thought, well, let's have the deep cleaners down here and make sure we give it... Um, because it's quite fun to use these when I haven't used it for a while. I only use the Kirby to do the, uh, the actual carpets. Um, I don't really use it for, uh, for hose use. It's just here for deep cleaning the carpets. Uh, what else have I got down here at the moment? I've got the um, got the Miele down here, the uh, S8730. This is the um, the machine with the remote controlled uh, handle grip on. So uh, three rather good machines at the moment. Plus the obviously I've got the cordless ones down here still, and I'm still using this on and off. Although I haven't used it for a week or so, it's all cleaned out now. Vax cordless. So it's obviously it's still on trial at the moment because I haven't even done a three month review or anything on this yet. Um, somebody wanted to have a look at my um, collection up in the bedroom upstairs so before we go up there I shall just um, have a quick go around in here now obviously this room is um, it's like my uh, spare room where just about everything's stored I've got old clothes in here I've got there's all sorts of things in here it's literally um, the storeroom and I keep, um, there's 35 vacuum cleaners in this room and uh, I've got about uh, nine up in the loft and there's two in my uh, bedroom cupboard in there. So the ones in there are the SIBO K-series in its box, which is in my cupboard. 
and also the um, the Siemens Z6, which is in the box in my cupboard in there. I've got done videos on those, but they're, they're just boxed up in boxes. Um, in the loft, there are upstairs just um, about nine machines up there that I never really bring down. They're sort of old, tatty machines. There's that Hoover um, whirlwind that's up there, that bagless thing that I can't stand. There's um, there's another Kirby up there that I don't use. It's another uh, Heritage One. I've already got one Heritage One down here, which is all complete. So the other one's basically a spares. The other one upstairs in the loft is another one of these Hoover Pure Powers that got broken. This is I bought two at the time, so this is the one that does work. So we'll go around the ones that are in the bedroom very quickly, and then we'll have a quick uh, vacuuming session downstairs. So this is sort of a bit of an update video, really, for... Uh, who was it that uh, asked for it now? It was... Oh, I can't remember his name. Absolutely terrible with names, I am. Um, I can't remember who it was that asked me now. He's, he comments on everybody else's videos. He's, I don't think he's actually done a video himself, but he, he's got a central vacuum and he's got all these other ones that he, he talks about. And he says, Steve, why don't you show us what's in your bedroom again upstairs? So, I will. And so we'll start then with the um, first one in the corner here. It used to be downstairs, but it's now up here in the collection room. It's the Dyson Light Ball. Um, this one has featured on quite a few videos over the last few months. It had its uh, three-month review done. Uh, sorry, two-month review. I will probably do a six-month review on it next month, because obviously I know what I need to know about it now. Then we've got the, um, the X4 Extra, and I've just had a, a talk about that one downstairs as well. This one's fine on carpet, but uh, not so wonderful for hard floor. But it's still one of my favourite machines. We'll have this one down again in the future. Down here we've got the Henry HVR 200A. This one's a 2011 model. Again, he doesn't really see much use these days. I'm not really one for pneumatics, to be quite honest. Uh, when I use one at work every day, it's, uh, it sort of takes the joy out of them because uh, the one we've got at work, it's a PSP 180 and it's absolutely crap, to be honest. Really, really dreadful machine. It just falls to pieces within a year. But that's, uh, that's that one. That still works. His hose is up on the top of there. And uh, there's the, the wand there with the turbo brush on. Again, you see, it doesn't get a lot of use, that one. Then we've got the, the Vax Mac 9 here. Uh, this one is something I bought several years ago again from Curry's. There's been videos done on this. There we can see it there. In the boxes behind, we've got um, my two uh, mealers. One of them's the white Medicare version that I used to have downstairs. That's now up in its box because I've got the black one down. And the one underneath it is another Mueller S8. That's the standard 8310 version. Uh, that's the, the base model, as you were, at the time. Both of these are pre-2014, so they're both 2,200 watts. This was the, um, the Zen Pet. Uh, I did a video of this not that long ago. Again, I keep this one in the box. It's not one of them that I use very often. We've already talked about the Hoover Pure Power here. This one is the uh, 2100 watt. And it's worth saying now that um, the current model of this, the, um, the Hoover Enigma, which is exactly the same, but it's just black, only uses a 350 watt motor. So if you think that exactly the same machine as this, okay, Pure Power, just under the name of Enigma, that was 2100 watts just three, four years ago, they're now putting 350 watt motors in them, so they've gone from literally from one extreme to the other. Never heard of anything so ridiculous all my life, one of these with a 350 watt motor. I won't be getting one. In fact, there's not really a lot in Argos at the moment that I do want. And this is why there's not been that many unboxings, because there's just nothing decent. It's all Vaxes, Hovers and Dysons, you know, and or Shark, and I don't want a Shark. So, next up we've got um, the... Hoover Turbo Power, not the old one, but the new version. This is a 2012 version, one of the originals. There's been videos done on this. And we've got the uh, Kirby here. This is the Heritage one. It could do with another shine, up to be quite honest now. But when I've had pictures of this in the past, it's always had the Heritage 2 bag on. But um, I got the one from the one upstairs down, so it's now got its correct bag on. With the, uh, the red bag on the side. Original cord. Not a bad machine at all. I do quite like that one. Then we've got the Miele S7, which is uh, also featured on the channel quite a bit, and will be featuring again. I shall be bringing these down in the future. Good vacuum cleaner there. Very, very heavy though. 
then we've got this uh, oddity machine here, which uh, no one seems to know very much about, including me. Uh, I saw it on eBay a few years ago. It was going for seven quid, and it was in Stoke-on-Trent, so I thought, well, we'll have that. I've never seen a bright orange one before, so um, that's got the adjustable power on it as well. We did a, did a video of that some time ago. Very unusual. Very Panasonic, really, but it's uh, Sanyo. Then we've got the Dyson DCO4 uh, limited edition, which this is featured on the channel before, so we know all about that one. Uh, this one's uh, another pure power. This is a 2001 version, so I believe, according to the label on the back. It is a 1300 watt, this one is. So you can see this, this, this machine has been through just about every single power that you can think of from 350 watts right up to 2200 watts they put in this this particular uh, shape of machine then we've got the um, Hoover Turbo Power 2 which I bought from Alex Raw several years ago again he bought this one uh, brand new in box as a new old stock model he used it about once and then uh, put it up for sale and I bought it so I drove up to him to fetch it myself and I've hardly ever used it either because I want to try and keep it as new as I can it hasn't got the old type of um, turbo power motor in which the old type here used. This one's the um, what, what number is this? The U twenty eight twelve. This one is, and uh, this is the one with the auto sense on. Again, this one's featured on the channel before. I think most of the machines in this room have now at some time or other. So we're just having a sort of a quick going over of what's in here, and then we've got another turbo power too. This one's just the base model. Uh, this is the one which doesn't have. The auto sense it just has the bag full light uh, it's got a bag inside it I store all these machines incidentally with the belts off none of these actually are working at the moment because they'd all have to have the belts put on before they were used I always store them with the belts off because um, leaving the belts on in a room like this never used and the belts just stretch out of shape and when you do come to use them the belts keep slipping and you've got to keep replacing belts and it gets expen it gets expensive so yeah uh, then we've got the uh, Wedgwood Green Turbo Power 1, uh, this is the U2332, uh, it's featured on the channel as well over the years, uh, it's the only one I've got of these. In the back here this one's uh, attracted quite a bit of attention actually uh, just lately on the uh, Vacuum Cleaner um, Collectors Facebook group. Everyone seems to be commenting on this for some reason, it's um, the Electrolux 6, sorry 560 from 1983, this is the one with the uh, electronic uh, control on the top. Next to it is the uh, original Electrolux 500, that one's from 1973 and that one's the one that features the bag whistle on the top and it's even got a metal bag latch as well and original cable. Then we've got um, the Hoover Senior Ranger again 1975, that's featured quite a lot. The Hoover Junior 1346A and then there's the 1346 there next to it. That's from 1970 and the other one's from 1967. Then we've got the Dyson uh, Ball, the DC-15, the original of the uh, Ball models, the very first one, and that was uh, 2006, so it's now 12 years old this year. On the back here we've got um, the usual bags, accessories, tools, uh, some Kirby tools up there for the Heritage, uh, which very rarely ever get used, in fact, if ever. There's a shampoo kit up there for the Heritage and some... Uh, I've, I've done a video of what's in these tool kits before on the channel when I did the Heritage 1 video. Again, we've got some Sibo bags there, we've got Miele bags, um, some tools, floor heads. All inside there is more bags. Uh, now what have we got? Uh, we've got the um, Miele 6220 Cat and Dog. This one's got the turbo brush head on there. It was the very first, one of the first Miele's I ever bought, this was. Um, right back in 2012. Uh, we've got Kirby G4 behind this. This one's uh, from 1995, I think. I'm not sure if I can see the, the number on the side. 9511. So yes, that's November 1995, that one is. I don't think the camera can pick that up, but uh, the little date's on the side. Again, it could do with a little bit of a polish now, but uh, I have to send it to Dorian, won't I? You'll have to do it. <laughs> yeah, so there's the, the G4 and there's its hose. Underneath we've got some more hoses under there. There's, an, uh, there's another one there for, I think, 
They're Kirby hoses, there's one for a heritage underneath, and that one's for, I'm not sure, I think that's for another, I think that might be the G7 actually downstairs. Then we've got um, the Miele S5 Revolution with its SEB 236 uh, power head. It's a nice machine, but again, not one that gets used very regular because of the problems that I do sometimes have with this handle, that it cuts out in use. All due to these uh, connections inside here, they're not the best at all. I do much prefer the type which have the other type of remote control, which doesn't have the wire running through the hose, which is what this does. So this one's back up here now for a while, uh, while well, I've got the other Miele downstairs. This is the Miele Blizzard, which has featured quite recently on the channel because it was bought last year, the late end of last year. This one again is the, prefer, the one I prefer with the radio control handle. This has got a battery in and sends like a radio control signal to the machine to switch on and off and raise and lower its power. So obviously the only other thing that you could do with this one that you can't do with that is to actually turn the brush roll on and off for using with that. But it is a very, very heavy and cumbersome floor. I know it's great, but it's not the sort of machine you want to drag out all the time because it's so big and bulky. But it's nice to have one in the collection anyway. I believe I bought, I bought this one off, uh, I think it was Michael McLaughlin uh, up at Warrington. He sold me this one some years ago. I kept thinking it was George that did, but it wasn't. It was Michael. And so, sorry George, I didn't buy one of these off you. I think it was definitely from Michael. And I think you're one of his mates anyway, so... And then we've got um, we've got the uh, Dyson here, the big ball animal. I can, you see, I'm running out of room in this room. I've just literally got nowhere to put the machines. They're literally having to go anywhere I can find. Um, this one's got the power head on. We've done reviews on this one quite recently. Then we've got the Dyson DC07 brush control down here. Uh, this one's one of the original ones from 2001. Uh, then we've got the Bissell. Um, Clean View Pet Plus. Uh, this one again, I featured this one on the channel. Um, I think it was last month. Yeah, I think it was, maybe. A few videos ago, I did a just vacuuming session with this one. And then uh, behind there, we've got the uh, Dyson DCO3. Again, some of these used to be up in the loft, but uh, I've brought a lot of them out of the loft now because it doesn't do them much good when they're up there in the winter and it's freezing cold in the winter and then it's roasting hot in the summer. And these are very delicate plastics now on these, uh, these Dysons. And then we've got the Hoover Senior. Um, this one's the 6525C, the one I put a headlight bulb inside. That one's there. And then we've got a, uh, an older 652A from the early to mid 60s with the wrong bag on. But it's all money at the end of the day to keep buying parts for these. And you've got people like Alex Raw that uh, has got loads and loads of these old ones now to, to show. I prefer, to be honest, I prefer buying uh, new cleaners now rather than the old ones. It's getting more difficult to get parts for these old machines. And there's a lot of uh, competition for them as well now. There's a lot of people that buy these old machines. You know, Dorian buys a lot of them. Um, he does loads of refurbs on his channel. So um, if you like to see old vacuums being refurbed, then Hooverlux is the one to see. He buys loads of old machines, all um, this sort of age, this sort of age from the 80s and the 70s and the 60s even and he, uh, he does them up and makes a really good job and Sam Watson as well he uh, buys a lot of old second-hand machines like this and uh, makes them look wonderful again uh, what else uh, we got in this room yes last but not least in here we've got uh, the Vax Mac Air Reach uh, this is the machine that I had a few problems with the cyclone seal at the bottom there and had to wrap some sellotape around the top to hold the cyclone assembly down so that it didn't keep lifting off at the bottom and letting all the dirt go up from underneath uh, this is also the machine that had the problems with the hoses that kept on screwing themselves from the ends because the glue wasn't good enough so it's not a machine really I could ever sell on to anyone so I just keep it I do use it occasionally for dirty stuff but uh, it's not one of these machines that I could sell because it's got too many defects. Uh, so there we go. Uh, it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to have time to get this other video done in, uh, on here now. So I think I'll just have to say that uh, this was the uh, a look at my uh, some of the machines from my collection again. So we've got 35 machines in this room. I know the room's a bit of a state. It's, it's not wonderful. I know Dorian's got a, a nice room, but he's got a lot more money than I have. <laughs> Uh, just about every spare penny I get goes to be goes into me vacuum cleaners. So 
unfortunately the rest of the house doesn't get a lot of money spending on it and uh, that's wrong really but I wish I had a bigger house and loads of money because then I'd have hundreds of vacuum cleaners but I think uh, a lot of collectors wish they had that but I'm lucky actually to have um, my total machine count at the moment is 53 machines uh, it has been like that for the last four years I've had around about 50 because then I'll, I'll get rid of some and then get some more but these ones here I just don't want to get rid of the Turbo Power 2 is one of my favourite machines, that's why I've got three of those. I like the Pure Power as well. So, and there's the old drum there from my uh, old washing machine, speaking of that. And uh, on the top is the, the old spider there as well. Now that spider came out of my old uh, LG washing machine that I uh, scrapped off earlier last year. And uh, when you think about how bad some spiders can be after just a few years, I mean this one was 12 years old and it's pretty much immaculate. So it goes to show that uh, if you look after your washing machine and uh, use it properly and keep the door open in between uses, they, uh, the spiders will not decompose. And there you go, there's proof of it. Uh, that's sort of digressing a bit from the vacuum cleaner theme there, but there we go. So... Um, that was just a quick look at um, some of my machines. So we've seen 35 in here, there's some downstairs, some in the bedroom, some up in the loft. But um, I will uh, see you again on the next video and uh, we'll do our SIBO uh, demonstration on the next video which will be coming up um, as the next video I upload. So bye for now.